Okay, the, uh, the wiring for this whole bundle will tuck down this hole right here. Is that in the shot? Okay. So I'm just going to feed these fat ends in first and then pull it through. But the bottom on this actually, you know, we haven't, oddly, we haven't had a bottom on any of our bots before, but this one's metal. Uh, and it is part of the rigidity of the bot, so we added a bottom. The downside to that is accessibility, but what's nice about it is there's a row of screws along the bottom. There's, there's a row here that holds the sides together, and you can take these, this whole bottom. There's six here, two, four, six, six on the other side. The bottom is what holds the bottom on. So let's see. That's through. Plenty of slack there. So I'll connect them. Now this came from the X carriage, so I know that the only end stop, uh, the black and yellow, is X. Click that in. Um, this blue, this three strand, is the Z sensor, and that goes in the Z end stop. And then the thermistors for the hot end and heaters for the hot end. Now these cables, you know, we may make a note, Jeremy, these are really, truly too long. Okay. Um, where's that ruler? Uh, this is 12 inches too long. Let me see if this one's 12 inches too long. The other one is 10 inches too long. So the thermistor is 10 inches too long and the uh, the heat, the heater on the extruder is about 12 inches too long. I mean, we can make those equal if it's easier. Mm -hmm. Okay, what did I forget? The motor, the E motor, right? Yeah. And then as I mentioned earlier, the X motor actually comes down, oh, that stupid bar, uh, comes down through a hole right here and then we'll be zip tied to the side. So that's the X motor. Did I say X, did I do that right? Oh, look at this. I had Y on the wrong slot. Uh, you'll probably notice that if you watch me put that in earlier. All right, so now everything is connected. X, Y, Z, E, hot end thermistor and heater. I actually connected the bed for Mister as well. And then my end stops, my heat for the bed, which is optional. So that's it. I can button it up. Now I won't put, uh, this is the bottom, and you know it's the bottom because you have this little, man, I need some Kleenex. All right, I, I will make it through this video. So uh, there's a little notch here to make room for. Oh, you're pinched on the other side. Okay. Yeah, I should have bundled those up a little better. There. And you can see, um, I'll be putting screws in the, these in a moment. But this is where the fun is. Now these are, um, again, this won't be loose on your bottom. <laughs> it keeps coming up. So these, uh, we thought about pinching these, so you notice these parts are a little different than what you'll see, but um, I don't think we need them, so we're not going to do it. It will just be a guide, and it's really, it'll be really tight, so I think it'll be fun. Now, uh, the thin part, you're looking at the front of the bot, the thin part um, here is at the front because it leaves room when the extruder comes up. Now we're going to move over. I think we've used all of our, our black nuts and we're down to these button heads. Button head is, what is this? 2.0 uh, Allen wrench, two millimeters. And these are 10 millimeters long button heads. Yep. Gotta find, where am I going? There they are. 
So you want eight into the block. Yeah. So with the blocks, these, I think they are going to be Delrin, right? I might have just stripped that one. I got it on the one setting. So you might want to uh, stop short and hand tighten these. You don't want to blow out that plastic. But this is going to be what we bolt the top and bottom of the sides to. So I want to get this on first. These button heads, I think they look really nice there. Stainless steel and uh, have a little rounded. It's kind of nice. First time we've used them. Almost there. <laughs> Only 42 more bolts. <laughs> okay, now, yes, there's a lot of bolts. But I love these parts. There's a four hole pattern at the bottom and a, a long gap to get to that bend that we put in for rigidity. And then you only got two at the top so you know and the top shorter. And these are identical? These are identical. I noticed that I had a little zip tie uh, thing for the motor. So I knew that was this side. And the, the sides go on the outside so this will lip over so it'll be in front of. Uh, make a note. We may we may want to put a uh, hole right here mm -hmm. for the kind of the return. You know what I mean for the the motors. I'll show you. Right now there is none. All right. So these uh, are shorter. Um, how many millimeters? Six. Six. 